one of my good friends just won a Super Bowl with the Rams. He, they called him to come out of retirement, play through the playoffs, and he, they won the Super Bowl, and he's going back into retirement. And he's so satisfied. And I'm so happy that I get to have that in common with him. Like, knowing when it's time and being done is a blessing in sports. Wow. Like, so Eric hey, Weddle is one of your buddies. Yeah. He's, yeah we, we were on the team together at the University of Utah. He was, like, really good and a starter and a freshman All-American and defensive player of the year in the conference. I was, like – the third string guy that was standing, hey, good job, buddy. You're you're yeah. awesome. You know? But, hey, but you hung yeah, on. You're still friends. You're texting everyone yeah. at Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's a great person. I'm so happy for him. Um, he deserves that. And I think it is the, kind of the final resume piece he needed to be a Hall of Fame safety mm-hmm. in the NFL. So knock on wood that five years from now he gets that call. And, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. And it's just – Nobody does it in sports. If I could, like, write a book for athletes, it would just it would be one page. Know when it's time to hang it up, and that would be it. You you should do that. You should write a book on that, and that's a great <laughs> book. Everyone would read that one pager. Um, that one just, page. Yeah, just very quickly though. What what what's the conversation been like with Eric? Like during this whole time, coming out of retirement, winning the Super Bowl, and you've been messaging with him. He said you talk. Do you talk yeah. with him after the Super Bowl? Yeah, yeah. Um, he, his body, like he knew that he wasn't in football shape, right? But you talk to him and he calls himself one of one. He's like, I don't think everyone can do this, but I know I can do it. I know I have the mental toughness to do this. I'm one of one. And he really believes that. And, you know, I would talk to him after each game. The first game, he played very smart. Not a lot of physicality, not a lot of contact. Getting his legs back underneath him. It was the perfect contest to do that. Uh, in the Tampa game and in the San Francisco game, he was like sticking his nose in there. He was hitting dudes that are, you know, 10 years younger and 60 pounds bigger than him, making tackles and all that stuff. And I would ask him like, hey, is your head okay? How's your body feeling? And he's honest. He's like, dude, I feel terrible. (laughs) I can't sleep. I'm in a lot of pain. But for that prize, he was willing to put himself through it. And then, of course, everyone's like, well, what about next year? What about this? He's like, no, I'm going back to my normal life. I'm going to go drive carpool, coach my kids. Oh, yeah. And ride off into the sunset. So I'm so happy and proud for him that he was able to do it because it's like I live in Salt Lake City still. I live like two miles away from the university I graduated from. The community here loves that man more than any other player who's ever played for that football team. And it's like – such an amazing thing for everybody here to watch him who's such a good person never forgot where he came from always was like stayed friends with the losers from the team like me you know what i mean like that guy never got too big for the community for the team for anybody and seeing him rewarded in that way is like validating to everybody so it's Mm -hmm. pretty cool